Hey everyone, today I'm going to be demonstrating the process for connecting to our LBP PSP private servers. And first of note, this only works with the absolute latest version of the game, that being version 2.0.5. If your copy is older, it's not going to work, so make sure to update your game. To check whether or not you're on the latest release, boot up the game and look at the language selection screen. If it has a purple tinted background, then you are on the latest release and can continue with the guide. If not, I'll go ahead and update your game. If you're playing off a backup ISO, there are some good tutorials online that you can also look up to update your game, and I'll have one linked in the description below. Now, getting right into it, go to the website shown on the screen on your PSP, and you'll want to download the first three files if you're going to add it to the plugins configuration yourself, or you want to download all four files if you want everything to be done for you automatically. In my case, I'm going to download all four files since I have no other plugins on my PSP. Now we'll go ahead and run through the setup on ARC 4. Go to the same side on your PSP, but this time only download the first three items. After downloading all of them, you want to go to the ARC Custom Launcher. Press Triangle, and go to the Files view. Select the SE Plugins folder, scroll down to the allfresher.prx file, press X, and install it as a game plugin. Next, you'll have to create your account, and this is done on our website, so go to the URL on the screen, Click Create an Account, and put in your PSN username and your email address. Your name has to match your PSN name exactly for this to work, so make sure you don't make any changes. Once you see that it's been created, then you can go ahead and open the game to activate your account. And you can see I'm able to log in and browse levels. If you get an error, then make sure the name you signed up with matches your PSN username and that your game is fully up to date. If you continue to have issues, then go ahead and hop on our Discord and we'll do our best to help you out. One last thing I recommend doing is going into your user settings on the website and enabling the option to redirect grief reports to photos. And this basically lets you take grief reports in-game and when you go online, it'll upload them to the server as a photo, which you normally cannot do in LBP PSP. And with all that said, you now should be able to play the game basically just as well as you were able to in 2016 before the server shut down. So hopefully this guide was helpful. Hope you enjoy the game. Uh, I don't know, just... And as always, have a good one.